Huh. This is what I get for trying to shoot in the park. Okay. California. Damn it. Blame the birds. Blame them. Blame the damn birds. Everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Abraham I am a fourth year nursing student at UCLA School of Nursing I'm a non-traditional student and transferred from Los Angeles Pierce College in Woodland Hills so it's been over a year since I've done a video on my transfer journey I did a video essay talking about everything that I did from uh, getting out of the military all the way into getting into UCLA but today I wanted to focus on three things that I did while at community college that I feel made me competitive to transfer over to UCLA. So the first thing that I did was have a plan. When I first went into community college, I had no idea what I wanted to, what I wanted my major to be. So I started just taking classes at random and I ended up getting three Fs, a C and a B. So when I came back to community college, the first thing I did was go see a counselor. I went to go see an academic counselor and I asked them to set up an ed plan. So they have a standard template that they can use that they can actually break down your classes by semester and plan out all your classes. So this actually made it a lot easier for me to plan out my schedule so I knew exactly what I was doing when I was going to do it. This made sure that I had enough units to transfer. This made sure that I was taking all the necessary classes that I needed to take and that I didn't take any extra classes that I didn't need to take. So when planning out the ed plan, I actually used the IGETSI. So if you're in the LA CCD area, if you're in the LA Community College District, they have an IGETSI form. On the IGETSI, it gives you a list of classes that you need by subject. So using the IGETSI form and assist.org, I found out what classes transferred over to UCLA and how they fit into my IGETSI. Once you're IGETSI certified and you transfer over to UCLA, your AA is complete. Your AA is finished. You are IGETSI certified. So talk to a counselor, set up your ed plan, and have a plan. Now I'm going to say that my initial encounter with a counselor was not positive but you have to be persistent you have to show that counselor that you are serious about your education because unfortunately the counselors see thousands of students every semester <laughs> you know i'm guessing that their impression of students is not very high but if you keep coming back and you are persistent in your ed plan you're going to show growth and then that counselor is going to probably remember you and then later on can be worth a letter of recommendation because they've known you for so long. So make an appointment with the counselor, have them set up an ed plan, use assist.org, get a Getsy certified. That was like step one for me. Step two was to concentrate on my grades. You know, when I left community college, my grades weren't that great. I had the three Fs, that C and a B. The B was for English, the C was in a bio, and the three Fs was like anthro, psych, and algebra. So the first thing I did was concentrate on those three classes that I had failed and getting a better grade. Fortunately, two of them, I was able to get a better grade. I was able to retake them and get an A, but one of the classes was not even offered anymore. So for that class that wasn't offered, since there was a time greater than five years that had gone since I've taken that class, I was eligible to fill out an academic renewal. The academic renewal cleared those grades from counting towards my GPA. So they were still there on the transcript, but they didn't count against my GPA. To focus on my grades, first I retook those classes that I had failed to get the better grade. I ended up getting A's on them and then did an academic renewal to clear off any bad grades that I couldn't get rid of. So those don't count towards my GPA. And then to continue to get better grades on my classes, I had to go to tutoring. 
So fortunately, Pierce College in Willow Hills has the center of academic success. Their whole, the entire purpose of that center is to get tutoring. It is all student led. It is completely free. You just come in, sign in at the table, and you go in ready to work. That had to be one of the greatest like assets that I used while at the community college was their tutoring center. So all of the tutors there are students that have taken the class that you're being tutored in and got an A or better. So you're basically getting taught by students who were successful in the course to how you can be successful in that course. So I went there for physics. I went there for uh, anatomy, for physiology, for my algebra, for my math, like for everything. They had a writing center that I can get my papers looked over. It really helped keep all my grades at a B at minimum because at UCLA, from what I've heard, you have to have a 3.5 GPA or better to be competitive. So I utilized the tutoring center and I stuck to my ed plan. So the third thing that I did was be involved in the campus. So for me, since I was at the tutoring center so often, after getting those A's in some of those classes, I was actually invited by my anatomy and physiology professor to be a tutor for his class. Um, at first it was a volunteer position, so I was doing it for the letter of recommendation, but because I was there for two years and I was able to continue to tutor, I actually got a paid position as a tutor for anatomy and physiology. So for me, getting involved was working at the tutoring center, um, working under the professor of a subject that I had, I absolutely loved. I love anatomy, I love physiology, awesome. And then because I was so involved, I got extended an opportunity to be one of the lab assistants, right? So I got to work in the classroom during their lab period and even worked with the cadaver lab, preparing the, preparing the cadavers for the oncoming classes. So just utilizing the service of the tutoring center, right? Helped keep my grades up, it also got me connected with the campus. So through that, I made a connection with the director of the tutoring center who later was able to write a letter of recommendation because I worked well under her. And then I also got a letter of recommendation from my anatomy and physiology professor because I had worked with him for over a year. I ended up using that letter of recommendation in my application for the School of Nursing. So really, the three things that I did to be successful in a community college was one, have a plan, two, get help and just keep on top of my grades, and three was get involved or stay involved. Mind you, I did all this while I was working a full-time job, <laughs> but I'll talk about how I paid for community college in another video. So really, I feel like those are the three things that I used in my application for UCLA that made me stand out as an applicant. What do, you, what do you think is one thing that you can do at community college that will help you stand out? If you have something, a recommendation or anything, or what is one thing that you did at community college that helped you stand out, leave it in the comments below. You know, leave it for somebody else to learn from. But if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe for more content like this because I'm going to be putting out a series of videos. And um, yeah. I'll catch you in the next one. All right, out.